I used to live on the wall of a palace until I was torn off in malice. The figure adorned in the attire of a king headed the great African empire of Benin. Two of his subjects are either side of him. He's standing there kneeling right beside the king. He's depicted in the center as bigger than everybody because he was an emperor figure. He ruled much of what is now southern Nigeria, but his power can be gauged by other criteria. For example, the Oba, as he was called, hosted European subjects who were utterly enthralled by the organization of Benin society. No inner rivalry or impropriety. He controlled trade from the upper echelons right back down to the village, thus monopolizing security and favors. The smaller figures in the background of the image are European traders. I remember those guys. They were Portuguese. Always caught disease in a scorching heat. Yet they were guided through the king's court with ease to negotiate the purchase of pepper, gold and ivory. Oba oh, was happy to export these commodities, but as for me, I was never told that I could leave. The Europeans knew I wasn't for sale, but every time they visited, they kept an open eye for me. Now over the 16th and 17th centuries, the kings continued to trade pepper, gold and ivory and other goods exclusive to our soil, most commonly rubber and palm oil. Since our exports were much distinguished, they attracted business from the Dutch and English, whose ships gave a direct link to Western markets. We were their only suppliers. The rest departed, leaving our king to monopolize trade in the area, which gave him a warier outlook of the Western visitors, who used some Africans as partners. The rest, the rest as prisoners. prisoners. Anyway, back to me. Back to me. Oba and his officials are in the foreground, as you can see, to convey their dominance of the relationship because they were commonly accommodating trading ships that were often laden with brass from European nations before all the invasions. The people of Benin made art with the brass and all of the images charted the past. That's why every single scene covers kings and queen mothers. I was on the palace wall of the man that balanced all of the land. Now by the late 19th century, the Oba suspected Britain's only ambition colonialism and even though he envisioned a continuation of this harmonious system if we sever ties we won't be imprisoned so in 1896 when he ended the trade agreement the British decided to invade the region they requested a meeting with the trade official but arrived in Benin concealing blades and pistols only two of the Brits survived. The rest were slain as soon as the ships arrived and even though this was a well-deserved victory it wasn't long before we felt the burn Literally, literally. The British response was a thousand marines. All I remember was the sounds of the screams as they raided our city, raped and pillaged the indigenous people of the ancient village. I can't erase the image. I can't erase the image. They circled around as our civilization was burned to the ground. And what was once the royal decor had now become the spoils of war.